hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to create a user profile card with flip effect as you can see on my computer screen so let's start this video in this folder i have created one index.html file and one style.css file and here i have one image called image.png next i will open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code so this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding, box sizing and font family. It will be applicable for all the HTML elements. In the HTML file I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file and here I have added this script tag for the font awesome icons. I already have a dedicated video about how to use the font awesome icons on your website. Now we will add code in the body tag that will be displayed on our web page. Here we will add a div with the class name container. Next we have to add the CSS for this container. So we will add this class name in the CSS file and here we will add some CSS properties like width and height and background. In this one we will add display flex align items center and justify content center so that we will add some content within this div that will be in the center of the web page so after adding these CSS let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser now you can see this dark color on the complete screen next we have to add some other contents so let's come back within this container let's create another div with the class name card in this card we will create another div called card inner now within this div we will create two other div that will be for the front and back of the user so here we will add a div with the class name front face let's duplicate it and change the class name back face so it will be front and back face of the card so that we will flip the card and we can see the other side of the card now in the front face we will add one image that's it to add image we will add img tag write the file name of the image image dot png like this in the back face we will add some text and uh, social media icons so let me add the text in h2 then we will add some text in p tag that is paragraph after adding all these content let's refresh the website again now you can see this image on the web page which is very big and below this image we have the text that we have added in the HTML file in the back face. So next we will add the CSS. Let's come back and copy this card. We will add the CSS for this card. So in this card we will define the width. It will be 380 pixel and after that we will add perspective. It will be thousand pixel and cursor will be pointer next we will copy this class name card inner let's paste this class name here in the CSS file and in this one we will add the position relative then we will add width it will be hundred percent and after that let's add the text align center now within this card inner you can see we have two Div with the class name front face and back face so let's copy the class name front face write it here in this one we will add back face visibility hidden so whenever we will rotate the card it will be hidden in the front face we have added image with img tag so here I am adding img and for this one we will add width so the width will be 100% and some radius so we will add border radius of 
10 pixel. After applying this, again refresh the website and now you can see this image size is perfect. Next we will add the CSS for the text which is written in the back face and right now it is displaying just below the image. So let's come back and uh, copy this class name back face, paste it here. Now in this back face again we have to add the back face visibility hidden. Then we will add the background. Next we will add color so the text color will be white and position will be absolute. Height 100% and width 100%. Top will be 0 and left 0. And here also we will add border radius of 10 pixel. Let's check the web page again. Here you can see this back face is displaying just over the image. And right now these text are at the top. So we have to move these text in the center. For that let's come back and here we will add display flex. Justify content center. And flex direction will be column. Now you can see it is in the center. Next we have to add some icons in the back face and we will add one button also. To add the icon we will go for font awesome website fontawesome.com Here you have to create an account and after that you will get a script like this that you have to use in the head tag that I have added over here in this head tag font awesome kit and then click on this icons right now it is displaying 6.0 so let me change it to 5.15 and here we will search for the social media icon so I will search for Facebook next click on this one and just copy this one line of HTML code click here to copy and paste it in your HTML file where you want to display it. So just after this p tag we will add a div with the class name social media and within this div let's add this HTML code for the Facebook. Next we have to add the social media icon for Twitter. Next we will add Instagram. After adding this again refresh the website now you can see these icons here. So let's design this title this description and this social media icon using CSS. For that let's come back and here you can see these contents are in the back face. So let's copy this class name back face and in this one we have the title in h2. So we will add h2 and here we will add the font size. So the font size will be big 50 pixel then we will add some margin from the bottom it will be 10 pixel and we will change the font weight it is 600. After that we have the text in p tag so let me duplicate it and here we will add back face p and in this p we will add the font size. 26 pixel and font weight will be 300. Now you can see increased font size for this title and description. We will add the CSS for the social media icons. Let's come back and here you can see these icons are in the i tag. For that let's add the class name social media over here and in this one we will add i and here let's add the color so it will be the color of the icon it is white then we will add the width it will be 40 pixel and uh, height also 40 pixel after that we will add line height line height will be 
40 pixel and next we will add the font size so the font size will be 18 pixel after that let's add the background border radius will be 50 percent so it will be a circle and let's add some margin so we are adding margin 25 pixel from top and bottom and 6 pixel from left and right side after adding this you can see this social media icons looks good but right now these social media icons are not clickable so we have to add the link also so let me come back and here we will add a tag which is for the anchor tag and in this one we can add the url of the social media profile href and just before this closing a tag just add this icon like this you can see we have added the a tag with the profile link and then this icon similarly we will add a tag in the other icon also After updating this, let's refresh the website again and now we can click on these icons and it will open the social media profile. Right now you can see one dot here. So let me come back and uh, come to the CSS file. Here we will add social media A and let's add the text decoration none. Now it is looking good. Next we have to add a button at the bottom. So let's come back and uh, just after this div which is for the social media. You can see the social media div is closing here. So just after this div we will add another a tag. In this one we will add the link text. It is resume. Now you can see this link here at the bottom. Next we have to design it. So in this one we will add a class name called btn come to the css file and here we will add dot btn color then font size it will be 20 pixel text decoration will be none and background will be white the button color will be white and some padding 10 pixel from top and bottom and 50 pixel from left and right side then we will add border radius border radius will be 25 pixel and let's add some margin 80 pixel from top left right auto and bottom zero like this now you can see this button looks good but right now this back face is overlapping over the image which is in the front face so we have to rotate the back face for that we will just come back in this back face we will add transform rotate y 180 degree After adding this again come back and right now you can see the front face and the back face is hidden. Next we have to add the hover effect whenever we will take cursor over this card it will flip the card and we can see the back face. For that let's come back and uh, come to the CSS file. At the bottom we will add dot card hover. Then dot card inner we have to rotate this card inner so let's add transform rotate y minus 180 degree after adding this again come back to the top where we have added the css for the card inner so it is here card inner in this one we will add transform style it will be 
preserve 3d and then we will add transition transform one second after adding this again refresh the website and now you can see if i take cursor over this image it will flip the card so this is how we have created this user card profile with 3d flip effect i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video